Now that we've heard from a constituent on this, we want to hear from some of your elected officials. We're going to have a wider discussion about having your voices heard by those in power. I'm joined by Ron Meyer. He's on the Loudoun County Board of Supervisors and D.C. Council Member Mary Che. So right out of the gate, y'all, I wonder if you all have different reactions to seeing that video from Kristen Mink. Well, possibly. I mean, what I think is that it certainly is appropriate to walk up to somebody in a restaurant and ask if they'd like to be talked to, right? Just like you would want to be treated in a restaurant. Elected officials, I think, have the same rights as everybody else. But yeah, we do have a higher calling, but that's why we're supposed to be publicly available. I've had 30 town halls. I've, I knock doors all the time. I, you know, you make yourself available. I'm not sure Scott Pruitt was really making himself available and some of these accusations he wasn't necessarily going to the media on. And so I think that, you know, certainly you open yourself up to criticism, but as far as sitting in a restaurant, especially with a family or friend or something like that, I think most of us as elected officials would just say, hey, follow the golden rule. Most time, if someone walks up to me and says, would you take a second to talk to me? I'd say, absolutely, I'd go stand up and talk with them. That's what we sign up for. I'm happy to talk with you. Right. And, but this is clearly her trying to take advantage of having a camera there and trying to, trying to get him on the record, and it, wor it, may, it may have worked. Right. Mary, do you have a, a well, take on Well, I, I think you're exactly right. I mean, as local officials, we're out there all the time. People approach me everywhere, whether I'm shopping for food in the Giant or just raking my leaves, whatever it is. And I'll tell you one thing. I'm happy that they do because it shows that they're not inhibited or, you know, they don't think I'm inaccessible. So uh, although we're out there all the time in many, many ways, this is not an uncommon thing. But I think it's correct, you know, that you have to always maintain uh, a level of civility. Yeah. Um, people will come up to me and it'll usually be in this vein. It'll be, oh, Councilmember Che, I see that you're shopping uh, or whatever it is, but do you mind if I ask you a question? I say, oh, no, come ask yeah. me the question. So I want to cut through that but distinction. But that's the how, way they do it. How do we define civility? Is it okay to do what Kristen did, but maybe not okay for the protesters to go in and start chanting in a restaurant like they did with, with Kirsten Nielsen? Where do you draw the line? Is it okay to protest outside of Stephen Miller's condo in D.C. and, and Kirsten, Miller's, uh, Kirsten Nielsen's condo? We've had uh, instances not me, but there have been other members of the council who have had protesters come to their home. Uh, that's not that unusual. But uh, I do think that, you know, there is a line that you can cross. Uh, I believe that if they want to, folks want to protest, they should at least respect some line and not, you know, invade, uh, let's say, a restaurant in the way that you're describing. Yeah. I think, you know, they can, they can approach somebody. They can ask to talk to them. But I uh, yeah, I'll give you an example of something that just happened. Okay. We had um, a Palisades parade in the Palisades section of my ward, and apparently, I didn't see it because I was up toward the front, uh, apparently there was some group that was, uh, they had a float, you know, against, you know, separating children in the immigration uh, issue, uh, and behind them were, were a few people who were supporting uh, President Trump. My understanding is that, that that went off, there were cheers for the immigration float, or whatever it might be called, and I guess silence, but nothing untoward. Okay. You know, so that's the way it is. One thing that I really want to get in with both of you is that I think the reason that people are doing this, going up to officials mm -hmm. in restaurants and protesting and such, because they feel like their voices aren't being heard. So I want to ask the two yeah. of you, what system, if any, do you have set up where if a constituent calls you with an opposing political view, yeah. are you willing to invite them into the office and, and, and sit down? And, and does that happen? So 30 town halls, ron.meyer at loudon.gov. I give out my cell phone <laughs> number to every single constituent, and people don't abuse it. You know, if someone disagrees with you, they need to have an avenue to voice that. We, what I look at this is, is you have to help go get your to-do list. Your constituents give you your to-do list. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on or if you disagree with me. I have to take that to-do list. And, and obviously, you have to weigh it against your other constituents and go try to do that job. And so I think we do sign up for that. We do sign up for sometimes contentious debate, but I think our job is to try to bring a public servant's attitude, a loving attitude. Really, right. I think most of us do this because we love people. We want to serve people. We want to make our society better. And so if we bring that attitude and someone's contentious towards us, if we return that with trying to serve them, most of the time that de-escalates the situation. Yeah. Let me give you the last word, Mary. No, I think that's exactly right. I mean, from uh, having site visits or having email or uh, having uh, folks, you know, come into the office, I am so accessible that that itself uh, responds to, 
to, to some people who might have a negative view at the outset because they have a chance to talk to me and then yeah. it's always better after we talk. So DC Councilwoman Mary Che and Ron Meyer from Loudoun County, the Board of Supervisors, appreciate you both coming on sure. to have this Thank important discussion. Us. So listen, don't forget, you can tweet me anytime using the hashtag OffScriptOnline. We want to hear from you as well. What do you think about what we're talking about tonight? Share your thoughts with us, and we'll share your tweet on television.